Well, 10 News is on top and staying on top of all the new developments regarding the search for Christopher Dorner. In fact, this Point Loma neighborhood just tonight was a scene for a search for Christopher Dorner that ended up being false. Now, as the manhunt for accused cop killer Christopher Dorner continues and intensifies tonight, we want to take you back to when he was here in National City. 10 News was the first local station to show you this surveillance video yesterday of Dorner tossing ammunition and other items into a dumpster Monday morning just feet away from the National City Police Department. Meantime, new details about the Riverside police officer who authorities say was shot and killed by former LAPD cop Christopher Dorner. 34-year-old Michael Crane is a former Camp Pendleton Marine. His funeral will be held this Wednesday in Riverside. Authorities say Dorner ambushed Crane and his partner while they were stopped at a red light early Thursday morning. The other officer was also shot but is expected to survive. Meantime, new details have emerged about a second incident of police injuring a person after mistaking them for accused killer Christopher Dorner. Police in Torrance reportedly rammed a man's pickup and fired three shots into it Thursday morning. The man wasn't shot but suffered a concussion and a shoulder injury in the crash. Mike Rothmiller spent 10 years with the LAPD and co-authored L.A. Secret Police. He says some of what Christopher Dorner states in his 6,000-word manifesto regarding the LAPD couldn't ring more true. So I was a detective and I was a sergeant, and the issues that he described uh, regarding racism, brutality, corruption, internal affairs, malfeasance, and so forth, that is absolutely true. I saw it firsthand. Roth Miller believes Dorner's ultimate objective is to basically change the LAPD and get back at the people there, and is confident Dorner is alive and carefully plotting his next move. I received from a very, very reliable source that he did, in fact, contact somebody uh, late yesterday afternoon. We promised not to disclose who Dorner contacted, but Roth Miller did say police were well aware. Perhaps over the last month or so, he's been buying prepaid disposable cell phones. He'll use them once, turn them off, and discard them. And virtually at that stage, there's, there's no way to track his location. A location that remains unknown. Rothmiller thinks Dorner is simply waiting to spark a major confrontation, and he thinks it'll happen at Parker Center outside LAPD headquarters during a weekday. That is what he views as the heart of the monster that destroyed his life, and that's where he's going to attack if he does. Roth Miller is confident Dorner is monitoring radio and TV broadcasts and hopes this message will somehow get through. Turn yourself in. Surrender at this time. I will set up any time that he would like to surrender and with any policing agency he would like to surrender to. I will be there to ensure that the surrender is safe. And Roth Miller says he understands Dorner's rage and frustration with the LAPD, but says inflicting more violence is not the solution and will not change the department. You can count on 10 News to keep you informed with all the new developments in this massive manhunt. Our next newscast is tomorrow morning at 4.30 to 7 o'clock in the morning, but we'll bring you any major developments that break overnight. And, of course, on 10news.com and any 10 News apps. Itika.